Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. How are you? How's everybody doing? Welcome, welcome. I am Bethany from Count Your Stitches, and we are back with another Monday Night Live Craft. Make sure that when you hop on, you say hello in the comment section. And if you love it, if you could please sprinkle this out on your page too, so we can spread the crafting love. I am doing that myself right now. All right, we are good to go. I want to be able to see everybody. There we go. Hi, Mom. Hello, everybody. All right, cool. So tonight, we are last night of January, heading into February. We are going to keep the Valentine's theme going strong, although not that we've really been doing a lot of Valentine's. We did some, right? What have we? What have we oh, what's happening? My dad, my dad walkies me. My dad's walking me right now in the middle of this. Mom, dad's literally walking me right now. Dad, I'm in the middle of a live. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, hey, Kristen, how are you? Um, so my we just gave dad a, an Apple Watch and he's walking me. It's so much fun. Um, all right, so tonight... We, so we've done a little bit of Valentine's, right? We, we did. We got some behind us, right? We did a little bit. So we're going to do another Valentine's tonight. So I've got a nice big wooden circle that we're going to use. I love these. I actually have to get a new pack from Amazon because we're almost out. Um, I love the wood grain in these, and they're nice and thin, so you can make door hangers and super easy. And then I'm going to use this little um, love wooden cutout from the Dollar Tree right on it and we're going to paint the background in ombre effect with reds and um, pinks and white um and then just make this like a nice my goal is like kind of like a burgundy maroon like i don't know like a purple red color um and then put that on top maybe with some dry brush white and then just have it be like that be nice and simple so we're gonna get going all righty and we're gonna paint an ombre on this all righty so I've got my trusty paper plate, same one we used last week, um, but it, it dried, so we're good to go. I'm going to take some red, and since we're using the same red as last week, I'll put it in the same place. So what's everybody up to? How we do? Oh my gosh. I use my data on the phone, but I use Wi-Fi on the computer, and I never can keep up with anything. Hi, hi, everyone. Sorry about that. I can never keep up with all the comments. Hi. All right, so I got some... Uh, darker red. It's not like a super fire engine red. It's more of a darker red. Um, just some classic white that is running low. Gotta go to Wally Mart and get some more white. I also need to get white paint. Uh, no, I need to get brown yarn because I'm making a giraffe right now. I'm in the middle of crocheting a giraffe, um, which I'm super excited about. And I need brown yarn. I only have light brown. I need dark brown. Um, I'm in a brown theme this evening, right? Um, all right, so we've got the red, the 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 red, the white, and then I've got two different pinks. So we've got pink parfait. Thanks, mom. It's my um my music one. It's got music notes and stuff all over it. Um, all right, so we've got pink parfait going down. All right, and then we've got what's this one? Cameo pink going down. So these are the four colors we're gonna use. All right, and we're gonna do an ombre effect. At least I'm gonna try. So we're gonna start with our darkest. I'm gonna use a nice big brush because um, it's a big board, okay? And we're just gonna do side to side, the whole way down, just kind of working all the colors in together, okay? So we start with the darkest color. I'm just dipping my brush in, and we're gonna go to town, get a nice, good coverage on that because you can't really... It's not like you can really do multiple coats. So I'm just going to try to do multiple coats as we go. All right. So how did everybody make out in the storm this weekend? Um, it was a, well, those of you who are local, um, those of you who aren't local, we got a lot of snow this weekend up here in the Northeast. Oh, check this out. I got a new water bottle on the Amazon. It's 32 ounces and it tells you like at what hour you're supposed to drink things. Although I drink water really quickly, so I've already drank, I got I got it when I got home from work, and this is already my fourth time drinking it, so I think I'm ahead of the game, because it always says you're supposed to do this twice a day, but we're good, and watch this, ready? Boop! 
I love this thing. I, I was going to get the bigger one, the 64 ounce, um, but this can fit in the cup holder. So I figure in the morning I can fill it, bring it to work. It's leak proof. I can just fill it all day, bring it back and I can have this has a strap um, and I can just like bring it all the time with me so I can make sure I'm always drinking enough water. All right. I think I'm going to make this red go down a little bit further um, just to make sure. All right, here we go. And then, that was really funny, my dad walked me. So yeah, so those of you who aren't from around here, the Northeast got a tonsies of snow this weekend. Whoops. Um, I would say we got at least 24 inches. I'm just gonna grab my next color now, the next pink, and we're just gonna blend, okay? We're just gonna blend. Um, so yeah, I would say we got at least 24 inches. Um, then some of the snow drifts, were, um, oh my God, they must have been at least three feet. Um, it was ridiculous. And then the plow plowed all of the snow from the street on our side of the driveway. Um, so, or on our side of the street, I should say. So it was just like ridiculous. Bob did most of that end of the driveway. So we kind of just split it. We started to, <laughs> one goes out one door, one goes out the other. And we kind of just split the whole thing. All right, so that's the red, the pink parfait. Now we're going to go down to the next lighter pink. All right, and we're going to end with the white, okay? So we're just ombre, ombreing, whatever you want to call it, all the way down. We're just blending as we go. It's very simple to do, as you can see. Look how pretty that looks. Can you see how pretty that looks? This is totally by chance that this is working, right? <laughs> Sometimes it actually looks like I know what I'm doing. And that's not always the case, but I try really hard to make it look like that. It's kind of blending it all up, all right? And now I'm just going to grab, I think I just want a little bit more of this, this down here. All right, and then I'm just going to grab some white. And then we're just going to, whoop, this is going to be tough. I'm just going to blend that down. Bling that white down. All right, so make this a little bit lighter. We're a little bit lighter. There we go. Okay, look at that. And we've done it. I'm not even going to, um, no second coats. I'm not going to go over this again, but look how pretty that just came out. Isn't that cool? It all just kind of blends down together. I love it. And it was super quick, super simple. So we just did an ombre Valentine's effect. Okay. I just blended four different colors from the dark red down to the white. And you just, as you you just keep your, your brush wet with the paint, same brush, you can kind of see all the different colors that ended up on the brush and you just bring it all the way down. All right. So now we're going to dry this bad boy up. Thank you, Amy. Hi, Amy. It's so good to see you. Whew. This one is going to be super quick tonight, guys. Super quick. Um, I'm tired, right? It was a long weekend with all the shoveling. Oh, yeah. So this, the plow put all of the... Whoops. Put, here I am trying to chat. I'm shutting this thing off. The plow put all of the snow from the street on our side and it took it i mean it was just like piled 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 oh hi or hey whatever i can't even i'm tired we're doing a quick craft and then we're just gonna go watch some television and keep crocheting my giraffe um so i'm doing two projects right now a duck uh, the duck i'm telling you so the um the elephant that i make used to be the most popular thing i made um and now the duck is slowly but surely taking over. And I have a friend or, you know, a, you know, an old colleague, I mean, classmate of mine from college to thank for that because she had asked for a duck for a classmate of hers because it was their, uh, I guess, their mascot in high school. And we found that pattern together. And I have just been making those ducks ever since. Um, so I've got a duck to do and I've got a giraffe. I've made a giraffe once, gosh, probably like 10 years ago I made a giraffe. Um, and someone asked for it. And so I'm making a giraffe now. Um, same one. And I'm super pumped about it. Plow Eco, same season in my house. They clean the intersection. Yeah, honestly. And it's so annoying. Like we, our road is a, a decent length of a road and they literally just all to our side, all to our side. Ridiculous. Look how pretty that came out. I'm kind of pumped about it. Hold it that way. Whoops. I still have some paint. That's wet. I don't know. I mean, it's not really like. It's not really even, you know what I mean? Like it's not side to side. It kind of looks like a marble. Anybody else getting like the marble vibes from this? 
All right. And so now, oh, geez. Okay, hold on. The edges are all wet still. Um, yeah, the giraffe is super cute. I made his head and his ears last night. And tonight I'm going to start the body. Um, and then I, I think it's a, the body, the feet, the horns. And then I have to make, well, the, the horns and the spots are all out of the dark brown. So I still have to go to the store to get all of that. Um, just trying to dry the space up too so I don't get this paint on the next paint. Uh, but the giraffe comes out super cute. Like I said, I haven't made it forever. Um, but how does everybody else make out in the storm? Hey, I see y'all hopping on. Y'all need to say hey. Say hey, we're painting... We're painting a Valentine's Day decoration, okay? We just did an ombre. I'm just drying the sides because the sides were all wet and getting my hands all dirty. All right, so here's what we have so far, okay? Our little marble-looking Valentine's Day wooden background, okay? So now we've got this beautiful... Um, we've got this beautiful little thing that's going to go right on top, but we're going to paint it, obviously. And I don't want to do white... Um, and I don't want to do black. So I'm going to try to create a color. God, I wasted a lot of paint here. That's okay. I don't use pink very often. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Hey, everybody who's hopping on, say hey. I'm Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We are creating a Valentine's Day craft tonight. Um, I just finished painting this ombre background for this to go on top of. Right? How super cute is that? Um, it's going to be nice, light little door hanger you can use for Valentine's Day. You can honestly use it whenever you want. Oops, hold on. My watch is doing something crazy. You can honestly use it for any season that you want because um, it's just love. Love is always in season. Am I right or am I right? Um, so I'm going to try to create uh, like a a um, like a dark mauvey purple thing. I don't know. So I'm going to mix. We have some of this red left. I'm going to mix some purple in it. Thank you, Kelly. I'm going to mix some of this royal violet into that deep red that we were using and see if we can't come up with the color we're looking for, okay? Because I don't really have a... I don't really have like a burgundy color, so we're going to try to create it. So what I'm literally just doing is mixing that that deep red with the purple to try to create the color we're looking for, all right? You can always do this. You can always, always do this. All right, coolness. I am gonna add just a little bit more of the red just so I have more paint. I'm gonna need more paint, so I'm gonna add some more red. I have a new one of those, so don't worry. And add a little bit more purple. Um, but yeah, so it was a good workout this weekend with all the shoveling. And then football, right, guys? I mean, there's only a few more weeks for me to talk about football. And then I don't know what we're going to talk about after the weeks, you know, the weeks after that. Although there is a new football league coming. I forget what it's called. USFL, like United States Football League, I think is what it's called. Um, we're going to give it a shot. We watched the, the XFL. I think that was the one Vince McMahon did. All right, so see, we got this, like, cool kind of purpley, maroony color. We're going to go with that. Um... We tried watching the XFL a few years ago, the one that I believe it was Vince McMahon who did it. Um, and it just wasn't, it wasn't great. They would like talk to coaches right in the middle of, um, right in the middle of the game. Um, and they give away stuff. I don't know. It was kind of strange. Um, but we're going to, you know, we can g give the USFL a whirl. Um, that's coming in April, I think. But so football this weekend, I still want to get paint on my new water bottle. Oh, okay. The struggle is real. First world problems. I don't mean to be insensitive. Um, so this weekend, what a weekend of fo I mean, these play this playoff season has just been crazy. Um, so I'm just gonna paint. I'm just gonna paint this whole thing. This is a little bit more purple than I wanted. Hold on, hold on. This is definitely more purple than I wanted it to be. But you know what? I'm gonna dry brush some white on it after. So we're just gonna go with it. All right. So I'm just gonna get a nice good coat. On this, I don't even know if I'm going to go for like perfect coverage because we are going to dry brush on it later. So I'm just going to kind of go to town here. Um, but what a what a playoff season this has been. Am I right? Um, sorry, I got to stop saying that. <laughs> um, the the Bengals, you know, shutting out, not shutting out, but, you know, shutting down. Number The number one and two seed, um, totally unexpected, just... I mean, good for them. You love a good under, underdog story, right? Um, I will tell you, though, and I've said this many times, and I'm just going to keep saying it, 
because he was right. Well, so far, Bob called beginning of the season. He said the Rams are going to go all the way. And look where we at so far. Look where we at so far. You know what I was saying, though? So a couple of years ago, right, it was KC 49ers in the Super Bowl. And um, and I remember saying it back then that, you know, for people who don't really follow football but like to watch the Super Bowl, that's hard to do when you have two teams that have a similar uniform. And I know that that sounds totally stupid, um, but, I mean, if you don't really follow football much and you're just watching it because it's the Super Bowl and you want to watch it and... Um, Oh my gosh, stop. My my thing keeps going off. Um, it's going to get confusing if you can't tell the teams apart that well. So I said to Bob, I'm like, it can't happen again this year, okay? We can't have the 49ers and the Chiefs again because it's just going to confuse everybody. Um, and look what happened. We got two teams that have very different colored uniforms. It's going to be a very, very colorful Super Bowl. We got orange. We got the yellow. We got the bright blue. Very colorful Super Bowl. I'm excited about it. I know. Those are the things. Bob will be rolling his eyes at me right now. That's totally me. Right, right Kelly? I'm telling you. It just it would be hard. Because um, the Super Bowl, you want everybody to watch it, right? In terms of the NFL. You don't want just your big fans to watch. So you need to make it user-friendly. <laughs> and I know Bob will be rolling his eyes at me. But I'm making a good point, and I know it. And Kelly's got my back. <laughs> oh, all right. So I'm just fit about finishing up painting this with our maid... Our homemade purpley reddish color. All right. All right. Cool, cool, cool. And then I'm going to dry brush. So I did not go for full coverage on this whatsoever. Because we're just going to dry brush some white on it in a moment. Okay. So let's dry this up. But no, it was totally so... I mean, these football... We love football. I love watching football. Bob has instill that with me. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks, Kelly. I got you, girl. Um, love watching football. I mean, it has just been so much fun to watch. I mean, seriously, like every game ex this weekend, I've been like, what? Like, you know, Ben, oh my God. I just, whoo. Um, let me show you that again. Like, what? No. <laughs> um, it was, it's just been so much fun to watch. So, so much fun to watch. Super Bowl is going to be great. We don't really watch the Pro Bowl. I just processed that. We don't really watch the Pro Bowl. And that's fine. It's just fun, I guess, the Pro Bowl, right? I don't know. I've never watched the Pro Bowl. I don't, and Bob's never watched it either, so not at least with me. Um, all right, cool. So here we go. Drying this up. So I didn't want such a contrast between purple and pink. That really wasn't what I was going for. So that's why we're going to lighten this up with some dry brush. Just because it wasn't the look I was going for. So we're just going to make it work. Oh, we got to dry this side too. Okay, hold on. We're going to dry the bottom. Guys, this is super fast tonight. I'm so excited. Super cute, super quick. Going to go watch some wrestling. So um, I feel like all I talk about is like football and wrestling. Um, <laughs> I hope everybody likes that. No. So... We don't really, we don't watch any of the pay-per-views for wrestling, um, but, you know, I follow everybody on Instagram, so I always find out, like, before we start watching on Monday night, I always find out people who won or lost, whatever, and I always say to Bob over the weekend, do you want to know, or do you want to wait till Monday? I can tell you, because I saw it on the Insta, but do you want to know? <laughs> I always have to, it's like spoiler alert, right? So, I'll, ca I'll catch up a little more when I go downstairs. All right, do I have my hot glue gun on? Yes. Okay, good. Just drying this up because this was a mess to paint. This is the back. Don't worry. I promise it doesn't look this bad in real life. IRL, in real life, right? Is that what all the kids are saying these days? I don't even know. I can't keep up. I can't keep up. That's like at work the other day. We were playing this little get-together after this big event we're having, and... Um, I mean, I'm not old, right? I'm not old. I'm 30. Be 30, you know, be 31 soon. And um, and we talk about this little, you know, this little get together we're going to have after we do this big event at work. And one of the young, so the one of the women is, you know, who's older than me is saying, all right, you know, we're leaving it up to the young girl to find the place to go. And now I'm not the young girl. There's a girl who's younger than me. Um, 
And I'm just going to grab, I am not going to grab this one. I am going to grab this. Um, so she, you know, she's telling us about things she found. She's like, I found this. So I'm thinking like after work shindig, you know, okay. So I'm, we're from Rhode Island, right? So I'm thinking like Greg's, Davenport's, cellos, although we don't really go to Jav Davenport's, but, um, you know, Greg's cellos, like, you know, the usuals. Or, you know, I don't know, a pubby type bar place, but, you know, whatever. And she's like, I found this speakeasy, you know, and I'm like, what is a speakeasy? I don't even know. She's like, oh, yeah, it's behind this laundry on this side and da da da. And like all these things. And I'm like, I feel really old right now. Like, I don't know what any of this is. I mean, I've heard of a speakeasy, but I've never been to one. I don't frequent speakeasies. I don't really even know what it means. I don't even go to hip bars. I go to you know, regular pubs and just, or regular, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just, I feel old. I feel old. I did. Well, so I'm going to be 31, right? Which obviously I know is not old. I know. I know, I know, I know. But I will say, you know how everybody chooses, you know, like they'll say I'm 25 for the 13th time or something. I think I've decided that I'm going to use 30 as mine. So I'm going to say that I'm going to be 30 for the second time this year. Um, because I, 31, I was like, I liked 30. I really liked turning 30. Um, because I did feel, I feel like when you're in your 20s, nobody treat, nobody thinks you're an adult. And so I finally felt like I turned 30 and like, okay, I'm an adult now, right? Um, even though, you know, I was definitely already an adult. Like we, you know, owned a home, married, all those types of things, right? Um, but I feel, I feel like, like adultness is solidified now, right? Um, but I feel like 31, I'm like, oh, hold on, slow down. <laughs> like, let's just, Let's just stick with 30. <laughs> um, like, yeah, let's just stick with 30. So, and I'm not making fun of anybody who's old. I promise you that. Because I've always felt older than I am. And I've, um, I know, right, Kelly? I know. Um, I've always felt older than I am. So I'm not making fun of it at all. But I think I've just decided that 30 is going to be my, new, my, my 25, right? I'm going to be 30 over and over and over. That's what I've decided. Um, all right, so I'm just going to take a super bristly, hard bristly brush and dip it in some white paint and then just kind of tap some of it off. And then we're just going to go back and forth to bring out these roses and this detail that's on this because it's really pretty. Um, and I'm just going to go back and forth. I'm going to go in the same direction um, so that way it kind of catches the same edges. Oh, this looks pretty. Yep, and this just kind of finishes it up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what I've decided. I'm going to be 30 over and over and over because I enjoy 30. 30. 30 was a good one for me. All right, there we go. Oh, this looks pretty. Okay, it's going to keep this up and we're going to go back and forth on this love. I'm not really kind of like a gaudy Valentine's person, so I can't say this is something I would hang in my house, although I do love it. So I don't know, maybe, maybe I would hang it in my house. All right, what do you think? See how it just kind of pulls out all those little details? It's pretty. He's pretty. And it's simple. It's going to dry it up. And then we're going to glue it on. And we're going to hope that I like it. Because I don't know how much I'm liking this color combination. I'm not going to lie. Hey, this is live, right? And I just made this up like two seconds ago before this happened. Thanks, Mom. I celebrate the, the nth anniversary of my 29th birthday. See, I like that. I like that. Thanks, Kel. Um, well, can I call you Kel? Sorry, I just nicknamed you. I'm a huge nickname person. I come up, when I used to teach, I well, so my first year of teaching, I had 500 kids uh, because I taught music to preschool through eighth grade. Um, and I nicknamed everybody. And I, I mean, every year, steadily, we had less kids. It's just the nature of private schools these days. Um, but even like right now, so I don't teach anymore, but I do work in a school. Um, and I still nickname the kids. I just, I don't know. I love nicknames. Does anybody else love nicknames? Um, I mean, people call me Beth. Um, you know, that's not really a big one. My grandfather calls me Bet. Um, cause his sister, one of my great aunts, her name was Betty. Um, so I'm, I'm feeling like he calls me that cause of her, right? Which I think is a massive compliment. Um, oh, thanks, Kel. Um, and so yeah, Papa calls me Bet. And then my family calls me Beth. Um, and then you know what I noticed? 
All the guys that I work with call me Beth, and all the women I work with call me Bethany, which I think is interesting. Um, Bob told me it's because men are lazy <laughs> and just go with the shortened name. Um, but I really don't mind either way. Um, when I was in high school, a bunch of people called me business or like the, the business because I always got stuff done. <laughs> like, all right, cool. Um, oh, and what was the other one they called me? Business and maybe that was it. Maybe that was it. Um, but all right, let's see how this looks. What do you think? What do we think? I just don't think it matches. I think that's my problem. I don't think it matches. But I mean, I guess it doesn't have to. This is going to need a raffia bow. All right, this is going to need some kind of bow. All right, what do you think? I'm going to show this to you. I'm putting it down. Was just going to say that. They're lazy. <laughs> Kelly, we're on the same page. What do you think? Does this work? That's your wrestling name. The business. Yeah. What do we think? Does this look nice? I can't I can't even tell. Um what do we think? And I'm thinking we could put a nice little bow here. We could put like a little raffia. Um yeah, we could do like a raffia bow. Bethany the business. Ah <laughs> that's funny. That's so funny. All right, cool. Yeah, let's do this. All right, let me, I'm going to get rid of this so that we don't have the paintness. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get it the way we want it. And then I'm going to grab this because we just need a little bit here. A little bit there. Okay, I'm thinking we're going to need some raffia. Yeah, I don't think I want ribbon. I want to keep this more rustic. Right? Yes. Burlap? No. Oh, I'm having a hard time deciding. Burlap, raffia? Hmm. I'm thinking, I'm like loving this thing, guys. And it was so cheap. Make maybe 12, 11 bucks. I don't know. If anybody wants a link, let me know. I loved it. Came in a million colors. Let's do, let's do raffia. Let's do raffia, all right? Let me grab it. Let me grab my big bag of raffia out of the drawer here. Out of the drawer. All right, we got raffia, hello. Let me grab some of this and some of this to make a hanger. All right, gonna make sure I don't trip. Whoa, trying to make sure I didn't trip and there we went. There she goes, everybody, there she go. Oh boy. Yeah, please, please put some laughings because I am like all over the place. All right, let's put these away. Put these away. All right. Guys, now that Christmas is over, I feel like I don't have anything to sing. You know what I'm saying? I had so much fun in the Christmas season singing. Oh, okay, so this is to tie the raffia together. Well, I probably could just use the raffia. Okay. Let's make the raffia bow first so we know what size to make it. And then we'll glue everything on, okay? So we're just going to grab some of this raffia, all right? Just going to grab a bunch. So what I, I keep it in a big bag, and then I just kind of slide, and I hold while I slide. So that way it sort of stays in the bag. And then eventually you get some pieces that come out. Need to watch this. Have a hard time with raffia. Okay, cool. So here we go, Kelly. We're going to work with raffia. So that's how I take it out of the bag. I got this in big bundles at a yard sale. The laugh emoji was me spit wiping a food smoke. <laughs> Amy, that's so funny. <sighs> oh my God. Okay, so we got some raffia. I'm not really sure where we're going to go with this. Let's do... So with raffia... You don't need to cut it right away. Cut it after. Wrap, like wrap and make your bow first, then cut it later, okay? So we're gonna, and we can, yeah, we can like trim this up later. But I'm just basically folding it back and forth. All right, I'm gonna, maybe I'll just make it a little smaller as I go. All right. So there we go. See, we got ourselves a nice raffia bow. And we're gonna trim it up later, all right? So I'm just gonna grab some of this oh we might paint a little cute heart to put on this yeah okay we did that last week too i think was that last week no two weeks ago we did the snowman last week all right so then we're going to tie a nice piece of 
um, just, you know, whatever string you got. Tie a nice piece of string around it, okay? And then we'll trim this bad boy up. And I have a little tray that I'm going to do it over because raffia makes a mondo mess, all right? Some people tie their raffia with a piece of raffia. I find that it rips and is not secure. So just my experience. Just my experience. All right, so now we're going to cut this. Trim that up. All right, beautiful. Now, two a couple things we're going to do here. I'm going to grab our little bag of hearts right here because I'm in love with these tiny little hearts we have, okay? Hi, everybody. I'm like, hello. Um, it's the only time I feel tall. Hi, hi Auntie Kim. All right, coolness. Here we go. So, close that later. All right, now, we're going to get this out of the way, and we are going to grab our little tray. This is the tray my dad got me from Harbor Freight. It's technically for all of your um, screws, nuts, and bolts, but I use it for crafts because it's got this cute little thing that you can pour everything out of. Oh, stop it, Amy. Thank you. I almost threw this thing away, this little heart. Okay, so... I like the tails we got going on here, so I'm going to try to make sure we keep those. All right. So these are our tails. All right. I'm going to, tr I'm going to, just going to keep those down here. Actually, I actually kind of like the. I don't normally keep it as a bow. Um, normally I trim everything, but I kind of like you like that. Kind of looks cute as a bow. Maybe I'll keep it as a bow this time. Just kind of separate out a little. All right, yeah, let's do that. And let me just trim the trim the bottom a little bit. I don't want it to be all... I'm, I'm going to cut... I just came out. I'm going to cut it like you. Like, I'm going to point cut it, all right? Um, oh, that's okay. I'm going to point cut my raffia like I'm cutting layers in hair. All right, look at that. Boom. So that way it's still a little messy, but more controlled, okay? All right, coolness, coolness. All right, we're going to cut whatever's happening here. So I don't like it. All right, cool. I'm going to cut that because it doesn't need to happen. All right, so there's our cute little raffia bow. Normally, I don't do quite this messy, but I like it. All right, is it going to be too big? I don't know. Oh, no, I think that's going to be cute. Yeah, that's going to be cute. Okay. Coolness. Yeah, me too. Thanks, everybody. Just the way. Yes, exactly. We got point cut this, right? On I went for like, a I wanted a lot up today. I don't know. I was going for a weird, like, businessy look today with my turtleneck and my scarf. I don't know. I was going for like a, I don't know what I was going for. You know, what's funny though. I don't know what the look I was going for, but I got on my first zoom today. Cause I do a lot of zooms. I got on my first zoom and I was the first one on cause it was my, it was my zoom. And I looked at myself in the zoom and I said, that's exactly the look I was going for today. Don't know what that look is, but I nailed it today. <laughs> Thank you. A lot of times I look at myself in zoom and I'm like, mm. um, but today I felt good. I was very happy. Thank you, everyone. You are too kind. Okay, so let us... Oh, geez, there's paint all over this. Okay, this is going to be difficult to glue, but we're going to make it work. So I'm just going to stick glue all over this thing. And we're going to glue it down. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God, this glue is so warm. It's smoking. That's kind of creepy. All right, let's hope this all works. Here we go, here we go. All right, let's put that back on. And let's glue this bad boy down. Here we go. All right, where she lands, she lands. I always end up zhuzhing my hair on Zoom before. Yes, right? I know, I'm pretty lucky. I Most of the Zooms that I do, I host. So I get on first and I can kind of be like, okay, how do I want, what do I need to do? Fix the whatever, right? All right, so there's that glued on, okay? Not coming off now, beautiful. Now we're gonna glue on the raffia bow. Just gonna turn that to the back. And then, and we can always trim this up if we need to at the end. And then we'll add on this little heart. Um, as a little, it's going to stand up so I can see a little better, so I can center this better. Um, and then we'll add on the little heart to cover the, um, the string. All right. 
But yeah, this took a little bit of a different turn than I turn than I thought it would, but I'm kind of excited about it. All right. Now for this little heart, I'm thinking it needs to be painted a color. And I'm thinking that that color is going to be, let's see, try to pull out one of the colors here that we're using. I think what I'm gonna do is paint it the purple, paint it the purple, and then do some dry brush white on it, all right? So we painted it the purple. And we're just gonna quickly, gonna keep holding that down, make sure it dries. And we're gonna, we're double, we're double task. We're, what are we calling it? What is this called? Multitasking, holy heck, and I can't even remember. I have to tell you, we got a new, we got new phones. We did like the deal. We only paid 10 bucks or I don't know. We traded our old. I don't know what we did. We don't get new phones all that often. Um, but we did the new phone thing and like, it's just so much better. I can see better and you can see me and more of me. It's great. All right. I'm just going to take some, just, I'm literally just dabbing some of this white on. That was a little too much white though. Hold on. We're going to dab some purple on now. Oh, that works. Okay. Beautiful. Dry that bad boy up. And then we'll glue him on and we'll be good to go. God, I think it's gonna be simple and short and then I talk too much. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna just take some hot glue. Literally, since we've gotten this glue stick, guys, we've only gone through two glue sticks. I'm still on the second glue stick and you know how much I glue stuff. All right, it's amazing. Worth every stinking penny, although I got it on sale anyway, so. All right, let's just glue this on. OMG, that added the perfect final touch. I'm actually gonna make it just a little crooked. You know me, I gotta get a little rustic in there. You know what I'm saying? All right, I got glue, I got glue strings all over the place. All right, just holding this down while we finish. We done? We good, all right, there we go. Look at how cute this came out. Thank you. Yeah, look at the little, see the little heart on top? is a little extra, mm-hmm. Look at that. Again, took a little bit of a different turn than I expected, but I kind of love it. It was, so I like rustic. So just having the pinks and the purples, I wasn't really feeling it. But now that we add a little raffia, it just kind of rusticified it up for me. And now I like it. What do y'all think? Thanks for hanging out, making with this with me. I am going to add a hanger to the back of it so that it'll be all set to go. Um, question for you if you're watching now or later. Um, I'm thinking about, I was going to do it on the snow day and I should have. Um, been thinking for a long time about doing a live sale. Um, so let me know if that's something you think you want to participate in. A, little, a live sale, a lot of fun stuff. Um, the fair I was supposed to do this past weekend got postponed. Um, I don't know if I'm definitely going to do it yet. It's just, we've got a lot going on and you know, weather and just a lot going on and whatever, busyness. So I don't know if we're going to do it, but we'll we'll see. But I might do a live sale. I don't know. But any hoobie doobs, um, thanks so much for hanging with me tonight. Um, and if you're watching this on the replay, say hey. Make sure you sprinkle this out on your page. Um, spread the crafting love. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Auntie. Um, but yeah, so sprinkle it out. Say hey. I'll post the replay. I got a ton of pictures in of people who um, got uh, crochet animals from us and with the little kids and oh my gosh, they're so cute. So I'm going to be sharing those in the next couple of weeks too. Okay. So anywho, have an awesome week, everybody. Happy February. Happy almost Valentine's Day. And I will see y'all next week. Okay. And yeah, have an awesome week. And always remember to count your stitches. Bye everybody.